welcome to this tutorial on archiving your precious projects. So you spend a lot of time editing up your project, you've exported it, your client's happy they're using it, you've finished with a project and ready to move on to the next one but it's clogging up your computer. You've got all the footage on your hard drives and you want to get rid of it, you want to archive it elsewhere. So how do we do that? Well firstly we have to have somewhere to archive it to, usually an external hard drive. And just a note on that before we go any further, I'm going to open up Wikipedia here. And I've brought something up called RAID 1. I'm just going to read what it says here. And this is talking about hard drives. A RAID 1 creates an exact copy or mirror of a set of data on two or more disks. It's got a little picture over here to explain it. You've got two hard drives and whatever is on hard drive 1 is exactly mirrored onto hard drive 2 or disk 0 and disk 1 as they call it here. So it is a complete mirror and what this means is that should one of these fail you've still got a complete copy of your data and you can replace that disk and mirror on again a copy of that data across. And So you've got a very low failure rate with a RAID 1 disk drive and I have an external RAID 1 disk drive that I use and my son's actually used a RAID 1 in his computer and actually had one of his disks fail and because of that he didn't lose all his data, he was still able to work. So if you want to be careful with your data I would recommend at least having a RAID 1 externally and possibly even when you buy a new computer make sure you have a RAID mirror inside for all your important data. And so that's RAID. And so back in Premiere Pro let's look at our options for archiving our project. And they're found under the project menu up here. So if I click the word project I really want to look at the bottom two down here Firstly, this bottom one that says Remove Unused. Now, in this particular project, I've got lots of bits and pieces that I haven't actually used in any of my three sequences. So I've got a knife sequence, I've got a sea houses sequence, and I've got a test sequence which has got absolutely nothing in it. But I've still got bits of audio and I've still got bits of footage that I've not actually used. Now, I need to make a choice. Do I want to leave that footage in there and actually include that in my archive? Or do I want to get rid of it because I've never used it in the project and I don't think I'm going to use it in the future? Or maybe your project panel's got clogged up with lots and lots of footage that you've never used and it's not important. In which case you can simply go project, remove unused and it will get rid of everything that's in here that's not been used in any of your sequences. However, you do have the same option in the project manager that you can remove unused footage. But you need to be very careful before you remove unused footage because sometimes clients come back years later saying, oh, could I have access to the footage that we used before? And this actually happened to me last week. One of the clients came back to me that I did a project two years ago. They came back and said, oh, could you possibly give us access to some of that footage? And because I had saved it all, I was able to access it and give them what they needed. And I had a very happy client. OK, so let's open the project manager. Click on project manager. And you will note just here we have the same option exclude unused clips. But before you check that to exclude them, think very hard about whether you, all the clips in your project you want to keep or whether you want to get rid of them. Whether you think you're going to use them later, whether this is actually an easier way of gathering all your clips together because you've got them all on your project panel or whether you want to archive them in a separate way. However, notice I've got three sequences up here and I can select the sequences that I want to keep. But as soon as I unselect sequences, it greys out this particular exclude unused clipped options. So whatever you selected, you're stuck with. So if I say don't exclude these clips and I start checking things, it greys out. If I check them back in, I can exclude unused clips. And as soon as I start turning off sequences that I don't want to save, this option's greyed out again, left as ticked. OK, in actual fact, I know that I just want to archive my knife sequence my see how sequence is archived elsewhere and the test sequence has not got anything in it so why would I want to archive it? So I just want to archive my knife sequence and I have two options, resulting projects. Do I want to create a new trimmed project which means that every clip that I have brought into my project I have trimmed down to use in my timeline, been used in my sequence. They aren't the full length, the full length clip might be a minute long and I've only used 10 seconds in my sequence. So do I want to use just the trimmed bits and save those or, the option underneath, do I want to collect all the files and copy all of them to a new location? So that's going to take the whole file, the whole minute long 
and copy all of it to the new location. Which do I want to do? So I need to make a choice. But notice down here that different options change. So, for instance, when I create a new trimmed project, I have this Make Offline option. So I could say, make those particular clips completely offline, but keep all the references to where those clips are, so that I can recapture higher quality versions later on. But I don't get that option when I go Collect, Files and Copy to New Location. It doesn't give me the option to make offline. If I go back to Trimmed, I also have this one to include handles. Basically, if you include handles, and mine's a PAL system, so it uses 25 frames a second. So it's, I'm saying before the in point of the clip that's trimmed and the out point of the clip that's trimmed, I want you to save an extra second of footage. So that if I want to make minor edits later on, I've got a little bit of wiggle room just here. So I can include handles, but also I can include, I can decide not to include them if I'm absolutely confident. I tend to leave that clicked and leave it at 25 frames for my system. If you're on an NTSC system in America, then you might want that at 30 frames and just save a second before your in point and before your out point of the trimmed clip. Also, I have the option here to rename media files to match the clip name. Now, when I'm over here in my project panel and I bring in lots of clips, sometimes those clip names are not intuitive. And I might have changed this clip name to something that means something to me. Now, if I don't have this checked, it's going to save them with the original clip names that might mean nothing. However, if I have this checked, it's going to rename the clips as per the names that I've given them in the project panel, which will make a lot more sense later on. And down here we have the option for where we're going to save it. So we can browse, I'm going to go to my desktop and go OK, and it knows where it's going to save the project. But you can obviously go browse and you can go to external disk if you actually have one attached to your computer. Now, if I go back to collect files and copy to new location, that's going to take all of the files all of them without trimming them at all, so the whole minute, even if I've only used two seconds, it'll take the clip in its full length and copy it to a new location. And it's got me a few options down here. Now, this is going to save me a little bit of space, but if I don't think it's highly likely that I'm going to use this file again, I can actually get rid of the preview files and get rid of the audio preview files or conform files just to save a bit of space. If ever I open the project up again, these will automatically be created. But if I don't think I'm going to use it for a very long time, or maybe never, then I can actually get rid of them just to save a little bit on disk space. And I still have this option to rename, which I would leave checked. I think it's very, very wise. And then I've got a little option down here which can check out how much disk space I'm going to save. So at the moment, I'm saying collect files and copy to new location. Don't bother with the preview files or the audio conform files, but do rename them. OK, the original project was 2.3 if I click Calculate. It's actually only, well, it's in fact increased the original project to 2.6, and it says the resulting is 1 gig, and that's because I haven't got my C houses saved or my test sequence saved. Let's just try a couple of other options. Let's go back to create new trimmed project. That's including 25 frames, so let's see if that's going to be any smaller. Calculate. No, nope, it's going to be about the same size. But if I included the C houses one, click trimmed. See, it's taking it right up to 2.1 gig. So you can see how much space it's going to take. What I'd actually want to do, I think, is collect all the files, go to a new project, click, check it out. It's going to be a 1 gig project that I can save on my external hard drive. Now, customers do come back. My preference is to collect files and copy to a new location. It's going to be slightly bigger, but I've got everything. I've got everything that I originally had, all the footage, I've shifted it all across to a new location, so if I want to make a completely different edit of the same thing, I'm not stuck with just the trimmed project with just the tiny bits that I'd chosen before with a one second handle before and after. I've got all the files that I originally had. So that would be my option. I would click OK, and then it says this operation requires the project to be saved. Continue. Yes. And now it's going to copy the media to the new location. At the moment, it's on my desktop. And there we go. And I can go to my desktop. And there it is. It's called Copied Project Manager Example. OK, and there are all the files. They've all been copied across, all relating purely to that knife sequence. And I've got my project. There you go, Program Manager Example. And it's all in this file that's called Copied. If I had done the Trim option, it would have created a new folder that said Trimmed, and then the name of the project that I trimmed. Well, I hope you found that useful. 
do go ahead and save your projects and keep hold of them because I tell you customers will come back and they will ask or you'll suddenly say ah what about that clip I used before and if you haven't archived it or you haven't saved it properly or you just left it buried deeply in your system you'll spend forever trying to find it my name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.